What's up everyone? In this video, I will teach you how to get rid of ADHD. If you're good with the wind, if you're good with anything, you will learn literally today how to get rid of ADHD. ADHD is not genetic. It's not something where you have an ADHD brain. And if you do the things that I teach you today, you will get rid of ADHD. There's no one who comes to me with any kind of ADHD, or they say we have different ADHDs, who does these skills, who doesn't get rid of it, okay? So the first thing, and this is funny because a lot of people with ADHD, this is a YouTube video. So you got to like stick with it, okay? You gotta stick with it. Um, so the first thing is to understand that ADHD and so many other, other mental health problems have only one underlying factor. And that is, one second, it's a little loud. That is being a slave to the brain patterns. Okay, what do I mean with that? How do you feed ADHD? It's actually about things that you do. It's about activities that you are doing that feed the ADHD and that created the ADHD, all right? So, give you an example. If you wanna paint for an hour, right? You're like, I'm gonna paint for an hour. And after 10 minutes, a brain urge comes up, like, oh, I feel bored. Let me check what Kim Kardashian does on social media. Or oh, I'm bored, let me go on TikTok. You just been a slave to the brain because the brain gave you the boredom. The brain gave you the thoughts, oh, what is this creator doing? What is this doing? And pulled you with an urge in there. By you reacting to the urge, you are strengthening the urge and you make yourself emotionally weaker because you're trying to avoid emotion. You're trying to control emotions. You're trying to get rid of emotions. And that will always make you emotionally weaker because being emotionally fit is about being a space for the emotions. Now, it's the same as physical fitness. Sorry about the helicopter, but it's the same as physical fitness. If you avoid weights, you get weaker, okay? So if you would, for example, if the feeling of boredom comes up and you accept the uncomfortable feeling, you're comfortable with being uncomfortable, and that's the key, okay? Comfortable with being uncomfortable and do the thing that you value right now, which is painting, you're building more emotional fitness. You're not a slave to the brain. You're the master of the brain because you're not reacting to the brain expression of the boredom in that moment, okay? The brain has three expressions that it gives you. Thoughts, emotions, and bodily sensations, okay? And people are always like with ADHD, oh no, I need to go on social media because my dopamine is on a certain level. That's the biggest bullshit biggest bullshit and they give you medication if you take medication or you're not medication that doesn't change anything about the ADHD medication will never help any ADHD because it's literally about a fitness it's about practicing skills and for example one of the um, signs of ADHD is being easily distracted right because you practicing distraction and I'll show it to you it's very subtle in some instances because it's not only every time when you feel boredom, you grab the phone or every time when you get an urge to check your text messages or social media, you grab a phone, which creates more ADHD. It's also in your head because every time the brain throws up a thought like, oh, for example, you're not good enough and you start talking to it like, no, I'm not, I'm good enough or like, no, what can I do? Maybe I need to be more sexy. Maybe I need to buy a new dress. Maybe I need to show myself on Instagram. You just reacted to the brain pattern. You just reacted to that thought and you talked back to it instead of doing the project that you actually wanted to do in that moment. So recovering from ADHD is actually making it about actions. Actions like, okay, I'm going to run now for an hour. I'm gonna set the timer for an hour, put the phone in my pocket, go running, and I'm not allowed to touch the phone until I'm done running, okay? And for me, a lot of times what came up, just 45 minutes maybe in, or 30 minutes in, the brain's like, no, just check a little, we just wanna know how much time is left. We just wanna know how much time is left. But not only that, if during the running, a thought comes in, oh, what did your jo uh, job, your boss say recently about this or that? And you go into a conversation with your boss, you are literally practicing ADHD because you're distracting yourself in the moment from the mindfulness, what you actually want to do. But if you always come back, you come back, okay, and you can talk out loud to your brain. I'm running now. I'm running now, brain. I don't care what you're saying. I'm running. I'm coming back. 
the more you do that, you train your brain like a dog and you train the skill of focus, okay? And all the, nye, 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 nye. no, you're such an ableist, ADHD is a sickness, <laughs> I am identified with it. Shut up, you are an ableist because by you making those comments on the internet, you are, you are I don't wanna say you, you are demotivating, de-inspiring people to actually do the recovery and you can do it. Okay, and if you really want to recover and have a better uh, life, if you want to have a better experience, you, it's really about those emotional fitness. I know the camera is shaking, but this information is great, guys. So please fucking watch the video, okay? Fucking watch the video, okay? We're not done yet, okay? All right, so it's about being comfortable being uncomfortable. And the first thing to understand is cognitive diffusion. If you identify with the brain and you think you are your thoughts, then you always will be rushed in, rushed in by the brain, rushed in by the emotions. You have to know that you're not your brain. You cannot be your brain because you can observe the thoughts and the emotions. Anything you can observe cannot be you, all right? So you need to have that cognitive diffusion and know that the thoughts come in, oh, I'm not good enough, or this is my only partner, this relationship is so important, da 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 da, -da our thoughts and we want to make it about the actions. Mental health recovery is always about the actions. And some people, even some spiritual people say, no, action, that's so superficial, huh? Because they want to avoid, they want to spiritually bypass, okay? Because they don't want to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Making it about the actions, no matter what feelings you feel, is actually the most spiritual thing. Now, the reason why some spiritual people say, oh no, the action, da da is because if you do your actions from weird intentions, which means being identified with the brain, for example, if jealousy in the relationship comes up and you do the action that you think is a good idea of checking the phone, of checking the story to see if that person betrays you, yeah, of course it's a sucky action. But if you make it about values, no matter what the thoughts and emotions say, you are training to be the master of the brain which is the opposite of the slave of the brain, which is ADHD. Let's look at ADHD stuff, okay? Oh, I get distracted. Oh, I'm so emotional. Oh, I don't know if I should do the laundry, I should do this. Oh, I can't remember things. Do you know why you can't remember? Because you're so much in your brain talking to all these kind of things, being pulled back left and right to brain patterns. Of course you can't fucking remember things because you can't even focus. You cannot focus. You cannot remember. That makes total sense. You don't even have the capacity anymore to um, remember anything because you constantly pulled up by thoughts, constantly pulled in by emotions. Does it make sense? So what we want to do is to build the skill of focus, is to build the skill of emotional fitness. Same thing with, oh, I'm so emotional, I'm so, of course you're so emotional. You keep feeding the emotions by trying to control them, trying to make them feel better. When every time jealousy comes up, you're trying to check on your boyfriend, all those things to try to make that jealousy feel better. I'm telling you now, you probably see my videos, how the brain works. If you're showing the brain that you don't want to feel a feeling by trying to make it feel better or avoiding it, you're showing the brain that that feeling is dangerous. Now the brain, evolutionary, wants to protect you from danger by showing it to you. The same way when you saw a tiger in the jungle, you want to see the orange and black colors. The brain's going to show you the orange and black colors so you don't get eaten by a tiger, okay? Or anything else. The same way the brain is going to give you more emotions and more thoughts. In addition, you get emotionally weaker. I know the camera's shaking, guys, but this is good information and I'm just on a walk. And <laughs> I think it's okay. I think, we, let, me, let me see if I can, I need to get like some stabilization or something like that for this. But just listen to it, okay? Just, just, just listen to it. Um, so it's really about building skills. If you do that, if you start being comfortable with being uncomfortable, you will build the emotional fitness, you will build the focus because you don't react to the old brain patterns anymore that pull you right, left, back and forth. You literally will build the skills where you're not emotional anymore because you're being emotionally fit. You also build the skills of focus because you're waking up and you're not reacting to the anxiety by scrolling on the phone. You're saying, okay, I'll push social media till the end of the day, okay? Because if you start your day with compulsions, you're gonna continue your day with compulsions. You're going to start your day with actions that support you, like 
physical fitness or building your business and then focusing mindfully on building your business. And mindfulness here is such a big key. And the reason for that is because you need to take your brain with you. If you're still doing compulsions in your head while you're running or doing your business, you're still practicing ADHD, okay? That's why keep your brain with you. And when you get up, if you do compulsions, which means you're trying to make the anxiety feel better, you try to distract yourself from thoughts, which is a whole comfort society about, and that's why people have these mental health problems, and you grab the phone, you're building more mental health problems. The more you avoid being uncomfortable, the more mental health problems you build, okay? My loves and lovers out there. So, make a list. Put your values down. We got, val we, we got, as human beings, we have very similar values. Physical fitness, relaxation, creative expression, uh, family relationships, friends relationships, romantic relationships, money, business, fun, okay? And you write these seven things down like a garden, okay? And you wanna grow that garden and you grow that garden with the actions. How do you support your physical fitness? By going to the gym, by doing yoga, by doing Pilates, by climbing. How do you support your relationships? By doing activities with them, by mindfully listening to them. Almost no one listens mindfully to other people because they think in their head what they're gonna say next or if or how that, um, how what the other person says has something to do with them. But if you mindfully listen to people, you're being a space. That's an act of love, okay? That's also supporting the relationships. In addition, spending time with people, building your business. Maybe you do an Etsy, maybe you do TikTok, maybe you do YouTube. Can you mindfully just make it about, I'm making videos with any emotions and thoughts. I don't have to have good feelings. If you're chasing good feelings, you will build more ADHD, okay? Also, can you do with any emotions and any thoughts and focus mindfully on giving value? What do you want to give to yourself? What do you want to give to others? The value of relaxation. It's not only work, guys. It's not only work. The value of relaxation. What actions can you do to relax? Make it about actions. Change from the emotionally addictive engine to the value engine. Okay? The valued action engine. If you do that, you change your whole ADHD. Now, see it like a fitness. Be kind to yourself. Because in the beginning, if you stop doing compulsions, there's a lot of uncomfortable feelings coming up a lot of times because you've been avoiding them. You've been trying to avoid them, okay? But the important thing is that medication is not going to help because it's all about a skill. That's like saying, oh, you can just take medicine and you're going to be a good tennis player. If you only know information about playing tennis, but you never practice playing tennis, you will not be a good tennis player, okay? And mental health is literally about practice. It's not about medication. By the way, fuck all the medication industry. They're all gonna take your money. And most therapists, even ADHD, have no idea how the brain works. And you know why? Because they actually don't practice mental health tools themselves. So they don't know how the brain changes. I know how the brain changes because I changed my own brain. And most people actually don't practice because they don't wanna be comfortable being uncomfortable. All right, so this is my first part of the ADHD video. It's literally about practice. Wake up, have any, any emotions and thoughts and make it about the actions that you wanna grow. If you say, oh, I cannot grow my garden, I cannot grow my action garden because of anxiety, because of depression, I cannot water my garden for a month, guess what, your garden's gonna die, which is your entire support system. I ran up below the stairs. I'm okay. All right. So you want to wake up and you make it about the valued actions with any emotions and thoughts. And that's how you show your brain you trust yourself because you're able to do things with any emotions and thoughts. And you're showing your brain that this is what you want to do instead of your brain constantly giving you thoughts of, oh, should I do this? Should I do that? That's why it's so important to put the values beforehand. Because if you make it about, should I do this, should I do that? Then you're still going back to the brain patterns and the brain will give you more overthinking, more ADHD, all of those things, all right? So with that being said, if you guys have any questions, message me in uh, the comments. Now, the work, the homework that I'll give you guys for this week is you're not allowed to check your phone in the morning. And a lot of checking compulsion, which leads to ADHD, is also 
Oh, did someone text me? Is there, maybe someone DM'd me? Maybe it's important. And your brain will find all kinds of things, all kinds of excuses for you to do these things. So, it's about knowing what you're going to do waking up, the actions, and it doesn't only have to be work. It can be relaxation. You can go on a mindful walk. You can go running. You can go building your business, making videos, working at your job. But you need to do it mindfully to bring your brain with you, okay? And you push social media till the end of the day. You're allowed to do two hours of social media at the end of the day. You can watch Netflix, whatever. But until then, you're not allowed to scroll. You're allowed to create. You can make videos anytime because that's supporting yourself. All right? Um, yeah. And then when the urge comes to grab the phone, be comfortable being uncomfortable and come back to what do I want to spend my time on? I want to spend my time on making videos now. I want to spend my time on making my YouTube channel. I want to spend my time on uh, hanging out with my friends, okay? And it's not about making feelings feel better. So if you hang out with your friends to try to make a feeling feel better by venting, you're still being a slave to the brain because the urge to vent comes up because you want revenge or your ex-boyfriend or whatever, and you're being a slave to the brain. So the brain's like, oh, you love these patterns. Let me give you more, okay guys? So for this week, social media at the end of the day, and mindful driving, which means driving, practice driving without music and podcasts. You'd be like, oh my God, no. Boredom comes up, uneasiness come up, and you come back to, okay, I'm gonna drive, just focus on driving. And the brain will give you any thoughts, and I can tell you already some thoughts that if I wouldn't say this right now, the brain will give you and you probably fall for it. Oh no, but we can listen to a podcast that will make us grow. We can listen to something for self-help that will make us grow. That's the brain just trying to get you to do compulsions. The brain only wants you to do compulsions because it thinks it wants to keep you safe. All right, don't fall for it. Go back mindfully. This is for the people who want to grow. If you want to get rid of ADHD, this is how you start getting rid of it, okay? I love you guys. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you want to see. Peace.